One of the hardest hit industries during the pandemic has been entertainment, affecting countless performers, venue owners, servers, and more. So many musicians have been writing new music, but with no live audience to share. Our friend Frankie Perez found himself in that very position. He joins me this morning to share all about it and the incredible journey it has taken him on. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you doing, Julie? I'm great. It's so awesome to see your face again. How are you? You too. I'm great. I'm great. I cannot wait to get back to performing. <laughs> I'll bet. Well, you've had a little taste. First, first, tell us about writing and recording a new album, you know, during this quarantine. Yeah, you know, like everybody else, you know, my life changed overnight, you know. Um, all my gigs went away, my tours got canceled, and I'm not one to sit idle. So I uh, did what I used to do when I was a kid. I went in my bedroom and I set up a little recording rig and I started to write. And um, two weeks later, I had eight songs and this little record uh, called Suddenly 44. And then once I finished that, I had to, I figured, I had to figure out a way to uh, get it to the people. <laughs> yeah, so when you were done, you had an idea. What was that? So I've had a relationship with Ducati for years now. Um, it's funny that this whole thing has grown in such an organic way. I actually called them once the regulations lifted and we were able to get out of our homes. Uh, I actually just called them for a loaner to loan me a bike so I can get out of the house. And, um, and they were like, we'd love to, but like, what is the purpose? Um, like, why would you want the bike? You know, it just can't be, oh, we're gonna lend you a bike. You're gonna go across the country, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what, man? I just made this record called Suddenly 44. Maybe there's a way we could tie it both together. Maybe I can get on the bike and visit different places and play the album. I get to get out. I get to bring joy to people's lives. And here we are, you know, we got this full on web series and uh, the record's out and we reached tons of people and I crossed the country and, and uh, it's, been, it's been pretty amazing. Uh, it sounds like it. I know that I was following you on on social as I always do, and I and I saw that you were up to something, and I, you know I just I couldn't wait to hear all about it. How can people um, view this video series? You can follow it day to day. I actually started posting um, on Monday. Um, you can follow them day to day on my on my Instagram, Frankie Prez Official. Um, but if you want to binge watch them, you can go right to Ducati.com, and they have the entire series. Oh, right on. Any highlights that uh, you want to share? You know, the, visually the trip was incredible and, and I really got out of my comfort zone and I just stopped and I would play on, on sidewalks in front of venues and alleys uh, for two people, for 50 people. I, I, but visually, it's, there's some incredible shots and some of the coolest stuff to me though was visiting the healthcare facilities along the way. Some of those people, you know, have been there, never got a break. Those healthcare workers never got a break through the entire pandemic. So when we showed up and I pulled my guitar off of my, off of my bike and was able to play the songs, the joy that it brought to their faces and, and, and just that little moment of relief was, was so special to see. Uh, real quick, because I know you're going to perform for us today, um, but there's some kind of connection um, with the new album to Debbie Gibson. What's that all about? Yeah, it's actually, it's pretty cool. It's uh, so I wrote the song called Samurai that's on the album Suddenly 44. Um, in the song, I name dropped Debbie Gibson, right? And as I was playing and writing the song, there's a section that actually her, the melody to one of her hit songs, Shake Your Love, fit right in, right? So I threw it in there. And when I made this record, I wasn't really thinking about anything other than like sharing with my friends, sending it to people like you, hey, check out this music. But once this whole thing turned into this big tour and this big like uh, uh, cross country thing and all these brands got involved, I was like, man, I might have to ask for permission. So I called the mayor of Vegas, Mark Chinook, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I said, I know you know Debbie, can you get me in touch with her and her people? Um, I gotta get permission. And I sent them the song, they loved it, and uh, they gave me their blessing and now it's on the album. Ah, sweet. I, I can't wait to listen to the entire thing. All right, so what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play Samurai. Uh, that's uh, the song with uh, Debbie Gibson in it, and uh, it's available again. It's on Suddenly 44 on all platforms, Spotify, um, iTunes, the whole deal. All right. It's, it's one of the songs on the record. Sweet. All right, take it away. All right. She's got a photographic memory. Remembers everything I ever said 
she don't hesitate to remind me whenever she feels like it. She's a worksmith and an acrobat. Judge Judy on a yoga mat. In rhyme or reason, don't stand a chance in an argument. She's a samurai with a glass of wine. Chopping it up with me and the guys. She's a gangster and a ride or die in a messy bun. No one could ever disagree. She's perfect for me. Oh, my heaven, what an impression you left on me. When I saw you standing there, I told my best friend that she looks like Debbie Gibson with watercolored hair. And I want to shake her love, shake your love. I just can't shake your love, shake your love. I just can't shake your love. She mastered the art of comfortable silence. She pushes the limits of culinary science. The fried chicken is always dry, but I pretend to love it. She's the secret service in Lulu Lemons. SEAL Team Six hunting for villains. She got my back and is ready and willing to take all comers. She's a samurai with a glass of wine. Chop it up with me and the guys. She's a gangster and a ride or die in a messy bun. No one could ever disagree. She's perfect for me. Oh, my heaven. What an impression you left on me. When I saw you standing there, I told my best friend that she looks like Debbie Gibson with watercolored hair. And I want to shake her love, shake your love. I just can't shake your love, shake your love. I just can't shake your love and shake your love. I just can't shake your love, shake your love. I just can't shake. Y'all love. Woo! Fantastic. That is perfect. All right, so what's next? Uh, you're going to be doing this again, aren't you? I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again in October. We're actually in talks now, which is so crazy. And this started from such an honest and vulnerable place. And uh, now we're in talks about doing the full series um, and maybe a documentary. Oh. Uh, we're going, yeah, so we're going back out in October and. Uh, it's going to be Crossing the Great Divide Tour 2020, part two. <laughs> All right. We will catch up with you while you're on the road next time. How about that? Sounds great, Julie. Sounds All right. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Follow Frankie's amazing journey, Crossing the Great Divide, on Ducati.com and get his new album, Suddenly 44, on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, or Deezer. Available now.